Yeah, welcome everybody. And now we're actually getting to the part, to the part of the program that you actually came here for. Uh, I know many of you came for the lunch. Um, some people came for the speakers, but I know most of you came to hear uh, what the outcome is of our inaugural sustainability awards uh, that our office has, has dreamed up this year. Um, so just want to let you know, so when we began thinking about this, uh, this project, this program uh, for this year's Sustainability Connect, we wanted to recognize the diverse community of all of you which Sustainability Connect does, but we really wanted to drill down into specific people, specific projects, and let people sort of open the hood of some of these projects and get a sense um, of, of all the efforts that are being done out there that not only help the Office of Sustainability get our mission done, uh, but also are helping MIT move forward, so that's terrific. Um, so when we thought about what the goals should be for this first ever Office of Sustainability Award program, we wanted to make sure that we were highlighting the people that might not always be recognized for their sustainability related work. As somebody said, not everybody has sustainability in their title or near their title. And so <clears throat> this, is, this is recognizing all of you who are helping us with this uh, program of work and this agenda and that um, we want to recognize all of you who are making that big sort of contribution and impact. Um, so we put out the call to all of you to um, nominate, recognize people that you know that are doing the work that is so important to us, and that we wanted to recognize uh, those that are, are really have a focus on connection, on impact, and kindness. We can't forget that kindness is an important dimension of our, of our work. Um, and you certainly all responded. Uh, so without further ado, um, we, have, uh, we have a series of first winners, and uh, we'd like to honor, honor them today. But before we get into that, we do have, uh, Dawn is going to talk a little bit about the, the sort of innovation of the award that, of awards that we'll be giving out of literally, what are they? Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Yes, I'm very excited to share that each category of winners today will receive this trophy that exemplifies a circular economy in practice. This carbon negative keepsake was made at a micro factory in Charlestown using 150 chopsticks, also a woman owned business. These chopsticks were collected in and around MIT, so maybe you've seen the box on our buildings or in restaurants in Kendall Square. Um, the company's named Chop Value, founded by Elaine Chow, which is who is a MIT Sloan graduate with her MBA. She opened the business last September and has so far diverted almost 15 tons of waste from landfills. Elaine is here and I hope you have a chance to talk to her today about her wonderful company. Um, she also does interior work um, so uh, and household products. Elaine, would you like to just stand up? Awesome. Okay, so now I get to set my timer. Set my timer. Okay, so let's get started on the on to the awards. Thank you, Don. So after, uh, so I'm going to announce the winner, and after I announce the winner, we invite the winners to stand up uh, at their table and get recognized by your colleagues. And then before everybody departs, for, or as people depart for lunch, we ask that all of the awardees come up here and we'll give you your uh, award as well as a certificate. Everybody likes a certificate. <clears throat> what? Yeah, well, you know, as somebody said, I can't see that from here. So, okay, all right, so our first category is our Sustainability Impact Award, and we're gonna award uh, one individual and one group winner. And this award recognizes individuals making an impact and leading on the sustainable change at MIT. And for our first award this year, we'd like to recognize Marty O'Brien. <clears throat> and Marty was nominated and is being recognized. I know you love this, Marty. <clears throat> being recognized for his leadership and ability to diplomatically rethink how grounds are managed, how waste is picked up and diverted, 
and provide a vision for how our vehicle fleet can transform to electric. Marty, uh, if you could stand. Yep, everybody claps. <laughs> well done. <laughs> okay, thank you, Marty. Moving on, our next awardee is a team, and congratulations go to the Safe and Sustainable Lab Service Team. The Safe and <laughs> And I'm going to ask all of you to stand up in just a second. The Safe and Sustainable Labs Service Team is a multidisciplinary team of individuals from across several administrative units and academic departments. They were nominated for this award for their work on the programs that will help MIT reduce energy and waste and foster a culture of protecting the environment. Uh, these programs include lab ventilation, recycling plastics, recycling equipment, materials and management, waste reduction, lab design, green chemistry, and we can't forget education and training in those sustainability techniques. So congratulations to this team, and we'll ask everybody to stand up. We have Siobhan Carr, Carolyn Colonero, Jim Dowdy, who I believe is not here today, David Dunham, Paula Fischetti, Mitch Galanik, Brian Goldberg, Emma Homestead, Wei Li Leong, Rosa Lieberman, Jennifer Lynn, Mike McCarthy, Scott McNay, Suela Manchaka, Steve Monstour, Patrick O'Donnell, Jessica Parks, who's not here today, Don, Ryan Sams, Mikhail Sharoni, Brian Smith, Matt Waugh, and Lu Zhong. Congratulations. OK, our next category is a student sustainability leader. And we have one individual winner. And this award recognizes a student who demonstrates exceptional leadership and collaboration within the sustainability community. And I'll let you know we have had a lot to consider. So I'd like to congratulate Shiv Bhakta. And here's. Here's what the, the numerous nominators had to say about Shiv. Within his first months at MIT in the Leader for Global Operations program, commonly known as the LGO program, Shiv hosted numerous interactive En-ROADS uh, climate modeling scenarios, uh, sessions with students and faculty from across departments, building awareness of the climate challenges we face and engaging people from across MIT, the MIT community to think about technology, policy, and behavior as it relates to sustainability. He holds a leadership position in the MIT Energy Club, and Energy and Climate Club, and has invested countless hours in his sustainability-focused startup, to top that all off, and has organized guest speakers in the corporate sustainability space to present to MIT students. He's helped students better understand how they can play a role in running sustainable businesses. So Shiv, thank you for your work. OK. <clears throat> Campus is a test bed award. We have one individual and one group winner. This award recognizes an individual or a team utilizing the campus as a test bed for sustainability solutions on campus and beyond. So. Katerina Boykin. <laughs> Katya, as she's commonly known, has been involved in campus flood modeling, which we've heard earlier about today, for two and a half years. The first two working directly with uh, and for MITOS, and she's now a PhD student in civil and environmental engineering and part of the Concrete Sustainability Hub. Katja has been involved in groundbreaking research on the use of rain on mesh, as we heard Ken mention earlier. I'm sure you were wondering what that was. 
um, and modeling this using the campus as her case study. She's done cutting edge research on the modeling of how floodwaters enter buildings and the movement of water through basements, giving us all an idea about how to prevent that from happening. She's gone above and beyond her graduate research requirements to gather the data needed, as we saw by those thousands of data points. Um, and her work has now been transferred to the flood uh, engineering consultants working for MIT to help develop uh, flood resilient plans for the campus. So thank you, Katja. And for our, uh, the winner in our group category, the award goes to the Undergraduate Chemistry Teaching Lab Fume Hood Project Team. Does that sound familiar? So working on the Undergraduate uh, Chemistry Teaching uh, Fume Hood Project, say that three times fast, members from the Facility Systems Performance and Turnover Group, the Department of Chemistry, and the EHS office worked to implement regular hibernation of fume hoods in the uh, Department of Chemistry's undergraduate teaching lab. We heard about some of the work in the chemistry building. Uh, the scheduled use of labs allowed for time hibernation of 58 fume hoods for 135 hours per week. And the implementation of this hibernation resulted in an unoccupied lab air change rate reduction from 11 changes per hour to seven, saving the institute in both the energy required to run the fans for the fume hoods and the cost of heating and cooling that air that gets supplied into each fume hood. And the team members are Jessica Parks, who's not here today, uh, John Dolan, is John here? Yes. Jim Dowdy from the EHS office. Is Jim here? No. Well, please stand. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. How are we doing? People ready for lunch? Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. So, in our category of circular economy champion, the award goes to Jared Jones. He's home today. He, okay. Well, <clears throat> many of us know Jared. Jared has overseen MIT's uh, recycling materials management program for 15 years. Jared stands out for his dedication, his leadership, and commitments to waste reduction and the circular economy. And Jared's small but mighty team not only takes care of the fundamentals of the day-to-day -day recycling, of conventional recyclables, but also bulk goods and mainly specialty items that can be found around campus. And he conscientiously assists the, uh, with campus reuse efforts, uh, which are really driven by volunteer efforts, such as the Choose to Reuse program, Trash to Treasure, and Campus Waste Audits, which are all above and beyond his, his regular call of duty, uh, just to name a few. So thank you to Jared. Okay. And our group category goes to the EHS safety technician team. So beginning in November of 2019, this group has collected and recycled pipette tip boxes from MIT labs. And to date, approximately 41,000 pounds of plastic has been recycled with partners at Green Labs Recycling. And recently, a three-gallon uh, plastic budget, uh, budget bucket has been made from 100% recycled MIT plastic, so that's really smart plastic. <laughs> the team is working with our partners to develop a product line that can be used in our own labs and then recycled into new products. So that's really a great example of a circular uh, economy there. And our, the team members are David Pavone, Ryan Sams, Norm DeRoches, John Collins, and Michael DeBerrio. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. And our last award, and our last winner for this year, goes to our Climate Hero Award. 
And this award recognizes a single individual who has supported transformative change with regards to sustainability within their team. And to that, uh, for that category, and that winner, it's Renda Gattas. And I think Renda said something to me of, don't make me stand up too long. So Renda, many of us know, has been a force for climate action uh, since she began working for the Institute um, in MIT's Concrete Sustainability Lab. Her technical knowledge, creativity, and compassion break down barriers between people and departments, from her leadership on sustainable building design to her expertise on stormwater management and climate resiliency to her determination to see new renewable energy projects happen right here on campus. Renda is a true climate hero and a fabulous person to boot. So, Renda, congratulations. So thank you to everybody for not only nominating the people that are around us, but also here gathering to recognize all of the good work and hard work that uh, you all have been doing in these teams and individuals today. So uh, with that, that's gonna conclude our awards and a few logistical uh, items is that lunch is, is gonna be served uh, right after this, right outside, you're welcome to come back. There is not a program during lunch, so please circulate and meet somebody new. Um, and lunch will be for one hour, and we'll convene back here. <laughs> what time are we convening? 123. 123. We'll, 1.25, we'll be reconvening here. Um, and for our workshop, we're gonna have an interactive workshop on the future of sustainability and how you all can participate in sh shaping the next 10 years of, of work here. So um, with that, uh, I'm gonna ask all, as, as, as you're dismissed, ask all the award winners to come up and we'll give you uh, your award and your certificate and we'll take a, a, a quick group photo while others are going out to their lunch. So, any other logistics? We're gonna end on time, we're gonna end on time by the end of the day. So you, nobody's going to be penalized. And with that, we close our awards ceremony. Happy lunch. And everybody who's won awards, come on up. <laughs>